Hey Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome in. I'm so glad to be here with you. Um, this is a general reading for the collective of Sagittarius. Not really date or time specific. We're moving far enough away from the new moon that it's the energies are starting to subside a little bit, a little bit. We do have some more cosmic energy coming through in a couple days that I'll discuss when it happens. Um, but yeah, so not date or time specific. I just trust that whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, if it's your storyline, then it's your message at that time. On that note, I did create the individual Zodiac playlists. They are new. The little card that pops up, the little banner that says new Sagittarius playlists means that I've eliminated all the confusion in my playlists, which were by um, element, month, and year. And after two years, that gets a little crowded. So now you can just click on the Sagittarius playlist and see every recording ever um, for your sign. Okay, so that's news. Also, I wanted to mention that um, I did the morning musing this morning for the membership, and I started to see a pattern for you, Sag, so I'm going to, if you'll indulge me, I'm going to indulge you. Here are a couple of cards that have come through your second half of May reading, your June forecast um, reading for the extended, as well as the morning musing this morning. So all those three readings are pretty recent. Here are the cards that keep coming through, the Magician. So this is a great time of manifestation for you. Sag, the Knight of Cups, which is an offer of love, the Six of Cups, which is past life soulmate, and the Two of Cups, which is a soulmate twin um, love relationship energy. And in each and every case, um, they come through very positively. So I'm starting to see a trend that way and I wanted to share it with you. That's all. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope if you enjoy the reading, you'll subscribe. And I'm gonna pull from Spirit Animal Oracle here. One card to kick off the reading. Dear Spirit, bring a gentle touch. I like it. Card number 18. So one and eight is nine. It feels like something's wrapping up here for you. You are um, almost at, you know, you're working on the completing of the lessons. When it turns to a 10, you're done and everything resets to a one. So I'm feeling as if whatever you're working through right now, if you bring a gentler touch to it, especially with all the heavy energies um, floating around, it, it, it will go a long way. Got it? Get it? Good. All right, let's see what's coming through in your connection. Ooh, Sagittarius, please. General reading for Sagittarius as a general reading for the collective. It may not resonate with everyone. So um, just take what speaks to you, leave the rest. And as always, you can check on the other readings that align with your other personal planets or your rising sign, whatever. Okay, here we go. All right, so the Three of Pentacles as your um, anchor card here, which means it's sort of the overarching energy of the reading, uh, is about co-creative energy. It's about working together um, to build on something you have, to make it stronger, to make it better. It's um, also got a touch of, you know, the two of you in spirit. So there's that um, beautiful trinity of energy coming through. I will clarify, and it's about 3D. So it's happening here and now. For your divine counterpart, this card is now, um, I'm going to add it to the list. It has come out in almost every reading, uh, but one and that, and one reading, it came out twice. So it's a repeating energy for, this is your counterpart. This is you, Sag. As always, feel free to slip, flip the characters around if you need to, especially if you are here as a cross watcher. So right now, um, past, present, future. The way that it's looking to me is we have your divine counterpart in the past, maybe, um, you know, feeling a shift, feeling something um, changing in terms of their path, in terms of the connection with you. And um, yeah, seven of cups for you though in the past. And I saw that energy this morning as well, um, feeling confused and perhaps getting mixed messages. So I'll look at that as well. Um, and now in the present energy for your divine counterpart, temperance, Sagittarian energy. So we have Sag, Sag. We have the Sagittarian energy coming through twice. That may mean you may be here as a cross watcher. Um, you may be dealing, this may be a Sag, Sag relationship. There may be Sagittarius prominently placed in both your charts, but 
I digress. The temperance card is a card of, you know, waiting for things to come into balance. The wisdom of the patients to know that with, with patients and, you know, incremental changes can bring beautiful results. And this person seems to be savvy that way in that they understand that in time, things, energies will come into flow. You, not so much. I'm not sure what's happening right now for you, but there's this energy of, um, either walking away from what doesn't serve you here. I'm not sure it's the relationship necessarily, but something here isn't working for you. And you just kind of have to leave it behind. For the future, we've got the um, Nine of Cups. Now that can be wish fulfillment. It can also be complacence, right? It, you can be complacent and like resting on your laurels and if this is as good as it gets i'm okay well that may not work for you here sag because nine of um swords feels to me like uh, there's a lot of mental energy um i'm feeling frustration and anxiety may come through it's interesting that they are both nines and this card is a nine so see where i'm going here i feel like we're getting close to wrapping up a cycle that's what's coming through and this may be time to put your heads together and work through it consciously, if that's even possible. So let's look at the Three of Pentacles. Star has come out a lot too. Um, so this is what you're hoping for, King of Swords and... Ace of Wands was there this morning as well. Uh, all right, so the passion is still alive with someone who may be a little remote, um, cool and aloof, distant even, Knight of, uh, King of Swords. Can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. I feel it represents somebody who's not very easily accessible and or approachable, but the passion is burning here. And um, this is the person you either are and want to, you know, you're wanting to work with them or this is them. So I'm feeling like that, you know, you're keeping hope alive that this is a workable situation. Wheel of Fortune for the past. I feel they... Um, they, the emperor, I'm feeling that the, in the recent past, um, they have shifted into the energy of the emperor, divine masculine energy. It's what's coming through. So uh, that may, you may meet, you may need to reverse it for some of you, but I'm going to follow what the reading is because now I'm getting two very powerful masculine archetypes. This is their awareness. I see it. I want it. I claim it. It's mine very much in their power, very clear on what they want, taking you know, uh, jumping in the driver's seat of their life, ready to claim what they believe is destined for them. And then we get the Eight of Swords. So all that's telling me is that they, they overthought the whole thing. Um, underneath means it's in their psyche. It's not part of their conscious awareness. They're not saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's kind of floating around in the back. And it's just possible that with the wheel here, which was moving in their favor, they got a little verklempt. So I just feel like what slowed them down was their overthinking, which makes sense when I'm looking at a King of Swords. It's all the realm of thought. Um, in the Temperance now, present energy. That is Sag, both cards, Sag, Sag. This, there's your Ten of Cups, came out twice this morning, FYI. Um, they want this love. They're willing to wait for it. I think they feel they have to wait for it. Like, I'm feeling a sense of timing here. Timing in the Wheel of Fortune, timing in the Temperance, and there's a conflict. Got it. Whoo! And... You are probably not in communication. There may be something they're not telling you. There may be a conflict they're going through, something they're not telling you. The um, High Priestess Pisces energy can often represent secrets or hidden, hidden feelings. <sighs> this card is associated with the moon. So, you know, the moon is what's hidden. 
I'm gonna, I'm really interested to know, please let me know in the comments what you think that conflict is about, if it's very clear to you. Um, to me, it's usually outside interference. They could be conflicted, but with the 10 of cups on the temperance, I don't think it's their conflict. I think there's a conflict swirling around them that is um, making the timing not so great. Take that as your clue. <laughs> Got it? Yeah, wish fulfillment coming up in the future. They're willing to wait for it. They may have to wait for it. Whatever that five of wands is may be what's causing this delay. Normally the delay is, um, you could see the delay in the hanged man. That's not, but because I'm getting too much timing references with a five of wands that I can't identify, I don't know whose energy that is. The nine of cups with the seven of pentacles saying, they're moving toward this happiness and this wish fulfillment energy, but it's going to unfold organically over time. And therefore, I'm, I'm seeing them as being very patient. Four of cups, they're not happy that they have to. So maybe it's coming through as impatience. They're being patient. They're not happy about it. Let me just say it that way. They're not happy about having to wait. They want what they want very king of wands energy what they want is the love and the happiness but there's something holding them back could be a legal matter the um the justice card comes out that's libra energy but you know for some of you this conflict may represent a legal matter um something pending that hasn't come through yet that's keeping them from moving closer to you um, for others, it's just a sign that they're waiting for things to kind of come into balance. And that's a similar energy to temperance in terms of everything coming into flow and balance. Um, I really am curious about that. Seven of cups for you in the past. Maybe because there was a hiccup and this person, although they were all ready to take action, kind of pulled back with some second guessing of themselves and uh, getting all caught up in their head. And that may have sent you some mixed messages here, Sag. Tower, yeah. Seven of Cups with the Tower. I kind of feel like, whew, they shut down. That is what I saw this morning. So the Four of Pentacles after the Tower, and there's our Hanged Man for you. So I see the other person as having the Four of Pentacles energy. And I think something blew up between the two of you. It could have come from your emotional overwhelm. There could have been a difficult conversation or energies at 5D that kept coming through and confusing you. And, the, and your sense that there's something here that's not sustainable. It's super um, uh, unstable. And... Therefore, this person pulling back really rattled your cage. Get it? With the hanged man, I sort of feel like maybe on some unconscious level, you just understood that this is a time to pull back and delay your instant gratification because this person is a little closed off. Not a little, actually, quite a lot. And so instead of making any hasty decisions, I feel like there was like you put a pin in it. That's what I see. But now I get the Eight of Cups looking like you're wanting to walk away from drama or something that doesn't serve you on an emotional level. Kind of going in search of your Two of Cups, right? There's a spot there and a spot there. Bring back those two when we have the Ten. Boom, the rainbow. So I do feel as if there's some on some level you're not feeling, you're not feeling the love. Uh, Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands underneath. Um, I kind of think you, here's what you're dealing with. I think you feel this is someone who just wants you around when they want you around. Page of Pentacles, breadcrumbing, and that they're not really on the level with you or they're not being honest and truthful with you on some level, maybe just about how they feel because um, it is clarifying the Eight of Cups, and that's not working for you, you know? You want to communicate, but the timing is off. That's, you know, timing is everything or nothing at all, folks. And I feel like the timing is off for both of you right now, and I, I kind of see you getting fed up. That's where you are right now. This person is 
not I feel like they're hiding something from you and and they're hiding this conflict that's going on somewhere else. I don't think it's between you. I think it's their conflict somewhere else. And I feel like you're you're perceiving that that lack of um let's just say it this way. I don't think they're lying to you. I think they're lying by omission of fact. There's something they're not sharing and you're feeling it and perceiving it as deception. So, and breadcrumbing, because they're only giving you just enough to keep you in their sphere um, or themselves in yours. But I feel as if you really want to talk about it, but the timing isn't right. And so you're going to move forward into this phase of the nine of swords, which is lots of anxiety and stress. Now that you see that that's a potential, you have the power to change that. Got it? Just because you see what you see here moving forward doesn't mean that that's hard cold this is all yeah it's somewhat predictive but it more than anything it's heads up energy it's heads up this is what's coming so what can you do to offset the potential that you're going to still be running things on a loop in your mind right like an overwound watch <laughs> well here's a little mirrored energy temperance comes out for you. So double Sag, I may be dealing with a double Sag here or somewhere in your charts, you each have prominent placement for Sagittarius. Could be your Venus even. Um, yeah, I feel like the stress of the waiting, right? <laughs> so what I'm seeing here, on some level, you know it's best. You know that in time, things will come into flow, but the waiting is killing you. And if, you, if I've got this Sag right, that makes sense to me um, because y'all don't like to be told to wait. Oh, five of cups. I feel like you're going to be, um, here you are, divine feminine energy coming in. So now I, I'm clear, Sagittarian feminine and your divine counterpart, regardless of sign, is a masculine. That's the way it's coming through. Could be reversed for some. But the, um, the Empress here underneath, maintaining that unconditional love, but you're going to be, you're having too much time to think. That's what I think happens, and it throws you into, um, you know, looking back on the past, your regrets, the mistakes, a feeling of sadness, grief, sorrow. Um, that will happen, especially if you walk away. So note to self. There's something here, though, that isn't working for you anymore. I know you want to deal it with it, deal with it head on. You're sort of being forced to stay in a holding pattern, which doesn't make you happy. Um, very curious about it. I know this is telling you to bring a gentle touch. I feel the gentle touch is right here in the, um, the Empress. So if this is speaking to you and you want to kind of follow me to get more information, I'm using the same deck. I'm going to see what we need you to be focusing on right now. What are the blocks or challenges to love here? And what can you either do about those blocks or challenges or what can you expect to come of the whole sitch? And then I'm going to pull um, a card for you from your spiritual team, the universe spirit, whatever you want to call it. We're going to get you some advice. Then we're going to look at the energy that surrounds you right now or something that's going on behind the scenes that is beyond your control, but that you should know about. And then um, potential for what's to come, you know, possibilities for the outcome. I will also pull messages to and from each other at 5D to see how, you know, what kind of energy you're receiving from them. They're receiving from you messages. And then I'll close out with some Oracle. So I hope this... Um, was helpful on some level sag the link to the extended is below p.s if you're still here watching i got an interesting comment from a subscriber who said that um she has figured out that youtube every now or google whatever um what wipes subscriber watch history which makes sense now that i think about it because that gives them more space on the platform and thus what happens is they wipe out your subscription choice so it may not affect everyone her she had been a long time subscriber and all of a sudden realized she wasn't seeing my readings and she double checked and was unsubscribed so she resubscribed would you please check for some of you it'll be fine but it may be a problem for others thank you so much for listening i'll see you at the extended or in a future reading take care bye sag